Hey you! What up? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. I'm Mariam. In today's video, I am going to be testing out and trying and we're testing the new collection from Dominique Cosmetics. This one is called the Wide Awake Collection and it includes concealers, powders, and a beauty sponge. This is something that's very, very new and fresh for the brand. This is the first time that the brand is coming out with complexion products. So I am really eager to see Kristen Dominique's take on concealers, on powders. I feel Feel like we share some similar skin concerns so I just have a feeling that this complexion collection might be for me of course I have it on my face right now but I had just freshly applied it so be sure to watch this video in its entirety for that wear test without further ado let's get into this video remember to subscribe if you aren't already hit that notification bell Wednesday and Sunday videos you know the drill and now let's get into it the wide away collection of concealers powders, beauty sponge from Dominique Cosmetics. Here we come. Alarm clock sound on. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. You guys, very, very, very exciting to see this new complexion collection from Dominique Cosmetics. This one is called the Wide Awake Collection. In it, we have concealers, we have translucent setting powders, and we have a beauty sponge. This is very exciting, not only for Dominique Cosmetics, but also for me personally, as someone who really appreciates makeup, as someone who is a friend of Kristen Dominique. This resonates with me because I know how personal it is to Kristen. So concealer is something that she has talked about extensively. She has always been very vocal about her struggles with dark circles. And so to be able to come out with concealers and complexion products is a really, really massive deal. And also I want to say she's one of a few brands that started out as an influencer brand, now its own bonafide brand, but she's one of a few brands who has actually launched complexion products. I feel like complexion products and color cosmetics, they are like two separate ballparks. They are two totally separate categories. And I don't wanna say that it's easier to come out with color cosmetics, but I just wanna point out the fact that complexion products and just like the development of complexion products takes a whole other set of skills. It takes a lot more time and this this collection is two and a half years in the making. So I know this is a really big deal. I just want to congratulate Kristen and Caesar on this because this is awesome. This is huge. But of course, we are here to test everything out. So let me just give you some details. We've got 17 shades of this new Wide Away Concealer. This is a full coverage, but buildable full coverage concealer that is meant for the under eye to conceal any problem areas that you may have in the under eye. This is $26. One really cool thing that it features that I haven't seen before is actually a metal tip applicator, but it's on a wand, so it's kind of like a skincare hybrid type of packaging. This concealer is formulated with caffeine and vitamin E, so not only do you have the cooling applicator that helps to depuff, but you also have the caffeine, you also have the vitamin E. Next in this collection, we have two shades of the translucent setting powder. We have the medium deep, and we have just like the sheer classic ivory shade. And this is supposed to be a smoothing and blurring powder. It contains hyaluronic acid, so it's supposed to lock in the moisture and hydration. So that's really, really nice. And it will not clog pores. The final thing that we have in this collection is the Essential Beauty Sponge, $15. This one is antibacterial. I love the color on this. Like a dusty, pale, mauve. I shouldn't say dusty. Dusty is kind of like a negative term. Let me call it shady. <laughs> no, shady is also kind of negative. Let's just call it like a light mauve. Yes. In this PR package, I have four concealers. So I am going to first try them on the side of my face here just to see like what my color would be we've got this one here oh this feels so nice and cool this shade is called cafe con leche perfect it's got like a nice slightly peachy undertone like a, a bit peachy a bit yellow next we have creme brulee creme brulee is also on the peachy side but just like a little bit more in the medium to medium tan category and then we've got Caramel. Caramel is like a nice tan shade. And the final one is hazelnut. 
I love the names. Hazelnut would probably be like a really nice contouring shade. So these are the four shades, but obviously there are 17 in the whole collection. I will also mention that this range will be expanded upon. So these are just like the initial 17. And these are the four that I just tested out. All right, so now that we know the shades, I'm gonna actually apply my makeup as I normally do. And I will test out all of these products with the products that I already know and love, just to see how these play up, how they pair, how how they work together, how they perform. Of course, I'll be doing a wear test at the end of the day. Let's do this. I'm gonna call in my swatch model so he can wet my beauty sponge. <laughs> Could you wet my beauty sponge, por favor? <laughs> All right, so while he's doing that, I am gonna apply the rest of my products or the products that are supposed to go underneath. So I'm gonna use my Essence My Skin Perfector Tinted Primer to blur my pores. Oh, please don't throw it to me. Perfect. Nice and plump, look at that. Alrighty, so let me go ahead and blur out my primer. All right, then for my foundation, I am gonna use my NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. And by the way, I still have not cleaned out my desk since my last video. I just feel like the products keep on compiling on this desk in front of me. I really need to get my life in order before I get fired from this room. Foundation is on and now I am ready to test out these concealers. So I'm gonna go for the shade Café con Leche. I already managed to get a cat hair onto the wand. So what I'm gonna do is apply just a little bit of product onto the inner corner first and then onto the outer corner. What I do like is that this wand picks up a very precise amount of product that should be just enough to cover the under eye. Like I don't think realistically I need any more than this. And I like that I was sent a shade that's a little bit brighter. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out now with the sponge. I'm gonna start blending out the outer corner first. Okay, blends very easily. Honestly, I gotta say this kind of reminds me a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape, which to me is one of my favorite concealers. I mean, obviously I don't know how this will wear, but the coverage is very, very similar. I like the fact that the consistency is on the thicker side, but it's blending out really effortlessly. And this shade, Café Con Leche, is perfect. It's like the perfect amount of bright without being too dramatic, without looking too glamorous, you know? This is like great for every day. And honestly, I don't think I need another layer. I think this is good enough for me. I'm not someone who really suffers from dark circles, but I still like to brighten under my eyes. I still have a little bit of darkness, just like everybody else. And also I just think that highlighting under the eyes gives the face a nice lift. So I always prefer a concealer that's a little bit on the lighter, on the brighter side. Just because it makes you look more put together, I don't know. All right, so that was really, really, really easy. You know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna see if I can use this concealer in other areas. So for example, in between my brows to just like brighten this area, you know? On my nose bridge and also around my nostrils, which is where I have a little bit of depth happening. So I just wanna see what happens if I apply this one to other areas and not just like strictly on the under eye. All right, so I'm gonna blend out the chin first. Easy peasy. Let's go ahead and do this area in between the brows. I'm gonna lift it to the center. That's pretty nice actually. Do you see how bright and lifted this area suddenly is? It kind of like popped it out. Wow, at first impression. I'm impressed. All right, let's check out the powder. The powder does not have a scroll wheel, so that's a little bit of a drawback just because I personally don't like having powder all over. I like for it to be nice and contained. But you know, no big deal. We can't ask for everything. I am going to release some of this powder onto the cap here. I'm gonna use the same sponge just a different side to pick up the powder. And if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you probably know and you can recognize that I'm not really a sponge girl. I like to use my brushes specifically for setting the under eye and also the rest of my face, but I really want to make sure I'm doing everything the way that I'm supposed to. And so if this sponge was included in this collection, it's for a reason. So I am going to be using it the way that it is meant to be used. Even though I'm not a sponge girl, never said I can't change my mind. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do a lot on this side. I'm gonna set all the areas where I applied the concealer, but then on the other side, 
I am going to use my own method of how I like to set my under eye. And so I'm going to use a brush just to see what like a minimal set will look like. Well, what's amazing about this product is that it's been sitting in my under eye for a while. And although I don't have like major wrinkles or major creases under my eye, when a concealer, when anything creamy has been sitting there for a minute, or in this case, like five minutes, usually you could see it creasing, you could see it kind of settling into the fine lines, but that is not happening here. Everything looks really smooth as if I had just freshly applied it. So that's really, really, really impressive. All right, I'm gonna dust a little bit of powder here, right under that under eye and also in that nostril fold. Also just like a little bit along the pores. I really wanna see how smoothing this is. Now honestly, so far, I'm pretty impressed, you guys. This did just smooth down and perfect everything. I really like the way that it looks. I'm going to quickly whisk away any remaining powder that's on my forehead, also on the nose, also on this side. And let's see which method I like more. Honestly, I do think that the baking method with the powder brighten this side or this under eye just a little bit more than this one. But texture wise, both look very, very smooth, almost flawless like. I kind of want to use this powder all over the face now. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to dip my big brush and I'm literally going to dust this all over to actually lock in my foundation. I have a feeling that this powder might be really good, not just for the under eye and not just for like setting the T-zone, but for the entire face. And I am oily. AF so let's see and I gotta say this looks really camera friendly in my monitor my skin looks incredibly incredibly smooth and I am not someone who has the smoothest skin ever I have smooth skin on my forehead and kind of like in the perimeter of my face, but in the center, I do have some texture. I do have some acne bumps. I have some large pores. I have some acne scars. So like that combination of issues kind of creates a little bit of a texture in the center of my face. But right now I am not seeing any texture on my face. Also in my close up mirror, like really examining my skin up close, it looks pretty damn flawless. Let me show you a close up if you don't believe me. I mean, come on, that is pretty smooth for me. It's pretty smooth, it's pretty flawless. You could say I'm impressed at first impression. You could say that. I just had a little bit of powder remaining on the sponge, so I wanted to just brighten my lids a little bit and just like bring more light to my eye area overall. But so far, I gotta say, this is looking real, real good. All right, so let's see. Should I add a little bit more product on top? Maybe perhaps a bit of bronzer? Let's go for it from one size, made for shade, light trio. I'm gonna go for the darkest shade, just to bring back a little bit of color to my face. What I really like about this setting powder from Dominique is that although it is totally matte, it doesn't make my skin look dry. It doesn't make it look powdery. It actually makes it look velvety, which is always the feel that I'm going for, but it's so hard to achieve when you powder down your whole face, especially when you bake your under eye, when you bake the center of the face. I mean, I gotta say that was a really, really pleasant experience. I'm going to add just a little bit of this Key Soul Care lip balm in the shade Inspiration. It's just like a nice berry tone. Let me curl my lashes, add some mascara, and let me show off this final look. Final look is complete, and I gotta say, I feel like I am living my clean girl makeup dreams right now. I really, really, really love the way that my complexion is looking like, and in the monitor, looking at myself, I am very pleased with the image that I am seeing that is looking back at me in my mirror. I really like how smooth my skin is looking. I really like how seamless everything is, and overall, my first impression of this wide awake collection from Dominique Cosmetics is really great. I almost don't have the words. I am taking it all in. I haven't seen my skin look this smooth in a while. I've been having some skin concerns lately. I've had some breakouts. I've had some bumps. I, I've had issues. And so to see my skin looking this clear, this smooth, and this well put together is like a pleasant surprise. So this is what it's looking like right now. This is how it's making me feel right now. Really like what I see, really happy with the results, but of course I need to test it out and I need to see how it wears throughout the day. So what I'm looking for specifically in this wear test is a number one, I'm looking to see that the concealer does not crease throughout the day. Number two, I wanna make sure that my skin stays as matte as possible. Of course, I can't have unrealistic expectations to see my skin this matte at the end of the day. I am super duper oily. I am oily AF, as I like to call myself. So I'm expecting to see 
some oils, but I want to continue seeing this type of smoothness. Usually this goes away in about an hour for me just because I produce oils very, very quickly and oils always make me look more shiny. Therefore they expose my texture. Those are the things that I'm looking for. So I don't want to keep rambling. Let's cue in that good old time warping music and let's see what this looks like at the end of the day. Let's hit it. Hi guys, it's midday. It's been about four hours that I've been wearing this concealer and powder so far no blotting i am looking really decent hey guys back in the filming room seven hour wear test wow no blotting whatsoever and here i am pretty damn fresh faced wait how hold on let me actually zoom in and let me show you what everything looks like there's obviously some oil on my forehead, but my forehead wasn't specifically the area where I used the Dominique Cosmetics setting powder. I think I only used it in the center, not so much on the sides, but still, this is definitely not bad. Look at the rest of my face. Look at my cheeks. Look at my pores. What pores? Holy crap. Look at this side. This is the side where I had a little bit more of a problematic situation with my acne scars and texture and oh my god i am looking smoother than i ever do after a seven hour wear test all right let's look at the under eye the under eye is looking pretty smooth to me i mean wow all right i'm actually gonna grab a tissue for the first time and i am going to blot because realistically i do blot throughout the day i just don't like to blot too much during these wear tests i want to test the integrity of the product but here we go first time blotting very very minimal product coming off look at that texture look how velvety how smooth this looks huh okay obviously you can see there's a little bit of creasing a normal amount of creasing around the nose around the nostril folds that happens to me with pretty much every single concealer powder or foundation but after blotting i mean what texture i am so close to the camera and i think my reaction is very very telling okay let's blot this forehead guys i'm kind of obsessed i am quite frankly thoroughly obsessed this powder is like a magic powder not only did it keep my face super smooth it also kept my oils at bay very very well and it kept them at bay all day for seven hours i gotta say this might be my new favorite powder can i even go as far as saying that i think i can i am definitely going to try this out with other foundations with other primers with other products just to make sure that this is as shockingly good as it appears at first impression also this concealer there is absolutely no creasing i look natural i look freaking good as if i had just applied this makeup like an hour ago i cannot believe this i cannot believe my reaction and i am just so so pleasantly surprised i am here for it no wonder it took Kristen Dominique and the Dominique Cosmetics team two and a half years to put together this collection. This is excellent, you guys, this is so good. Really, really super proud of the Dominique Cosmetics team. I think you guys did it. This is beyond my wildest dreams. As shocked and as like excited as I am for these products, I know this is still a first impression and I know this is a really, really good first impression, but of course I'm gonna give all of these products, the concealer and the powder and the sponge, a couple more tries, a couple more tests. And then of course I will follow up on all of my observations and on my experience and my faves X fail. So let's see which category it falls into. Pretty sure it will fall into the faves because this was definitely on the excellent side, you guys. So that is my review. That is my wear test. That is my story for today. The skin don't lie. The camera don't lie. And here we go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm going to zoom on out now and you are going to click on my next couple of videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Peace out. And I'm out. <laughs>